Hey guys, it's Matthew here. Uh, welcome to my channel, and this is obviously my first video for the channel. Uh, planning to talk mostly about cars and anything car related. Uh, throw, also throw in a little technology here and there. I'm a software engineer, so that's really what I'm interested in. And today for the channel, we actually have something special. Um, so one of the things I like to do most is wash my cars. Um, and to help with that, I got, for this year, I got a new Ryobi pressure washer, and we're gonna be unboxing that and setting it up today. So let's jump into it. guys it has arrived a couple shipping delays but my new pressure washer has finally made its way to my garage it's a Ryobi 2300 PSI uh, electric power washer so what I'm replacing is this one over here I'm not even really sure what brand it is to be honest uh, I believe somebody got it for me for Christmas a few years ago um, it's, worked really well for car washes, but you can see the the hose management is a little bit of a mess. So, um, we're just looking to upgrade, and uh, this is what we ended up with. So, let's go ahead and dig in. All right, gonna open the old box. Alright, so we got instructions. Looks like the handle for the rolling cart. And there's... And there's the main power washer unit. Here's the gun. Pretty cool. nozzles I'm interested to try this they call it like a quick spray tip with this connector here so be interested to try that out all right let's pull this baby out all right guys got all the uh, pieces laid out here well this one is a 15 degree and then this they call the turbo nozzle which looks like for higher powered stuff that's what you want to use uh, looks like there's not too much to it to put it together just add the handle and put the gun together and then connect it all up so we'll do that next
All right, so our pressure washer assembly was successful. Let's see the final product here. Just kind of, you know, put it together. It took me about five minutes, so not, not too bad at all. Uh, nothing too, too crazy. One thing I've noticed kind of looking around these fixtures and stuff, everything looks pretty high quality. Um, the one thing I didn't like about my old pressure washer is uh, around where you connect this hose, it would always leak and that was kind of always a pain. So, uh, this looks pretty good. Um, gonna want to give it a little test out here. Luckily we have a filthy car here to uh, do a quick clean on. So we're gonna get this set up with the hose and uh, give it a shot. just wrapped up the first wash with the Ryobi. Uh, it worked very well. It is significantly more powerful than the previous pressure washer I have. Um, so definitely something you need to make sure to do uh, with something like this is every time you put a new nozzle on, make sure it's secured before you shoot it at your car because it does shoot it out with a significant uh, amount of pressure and that would be uh, bad to get that, uh, hit that on the paint. Uh, so here's kind of the show you guys the results of the wash uh, it turned out very good significantly more clean than it was X5 is looking much better for sure so one thing I did use for the first time is this Adams detail spray and I got uh, several Adams products that I was trying out for the first time today uh, this stuff is amazing uh, as a drying agent and it I don't know what the scent is But it just smells really good in here. So I would definitely recommend this and I'll probably be talking about this in a future video So look for that That's gonna do it for this video look for more car and car related content coming soon uh, Thanks for stopping by and catching on the next one